What is up, guys? Jarv here, back today, jumping into Destiny. It's Friday, and this geezer is on Nessus. You'll find us over in Watcher's Grave, where the Proving Ground Strike is, by our tree. What's up, dude? Let's have a look at the state of Zer on this Friday. So we have the Merciless. This is good for if you're trying to solo Nezarek, I guess. It fires uh, and hits decreased charge time, which is pretty pog. One of the slowest charge times on fusion rifles, but it hits like an absolute truck. So worth getting if you don't have that. Got some juicy Shinobus here. 68. Probably one of the highest rolls Zer has ever sold. 18 on mobility. We've also got recovery and discipline and strength as the weighted stats. And this improves your skip grenades. So it does a thing. So those are pretty juicy, actually. And then we've got the feedback fences with a 67 with 20 on resilience. Melee hits store explosive defensive energy. Catches me out in Crucible constantly. So worth a look if you're running a Titan. And then we've got the Crown of Tempest, a 67. So one of the highest yet again. But we do have 17 on mobility, which is unfortunate for a Warlock. And only two on resilience. So an awful distribution for you Warlocks there. Uh, for the weapons then, we've got the Wolf Tone Draw with a very nice Shoot to Loot and Adagio. That might be worth a look if you're looking for bows for harder content. Uh, we've got the GN7 Rifle with Full Auto, which is completely wasted. And Rampage. Uh, we got the SMG back again. This time they were firmly planted and Dragonfly. So we clearly sold not very many last week. So it looks like that's going to be the case again this week. We got Autoloading Holster Turnabout on Explosive Personality. This is a Wave Frame, which is solar, by the way. So it might be worth a look. It also comes with the Origin Trait Land Tank. Uh, so these are some of my most favorite weapons. So worth a shout if you don't have any, have any from that season. And you'll only need three as well if you're using your deep sight weapon harmonizers if you want to craft them uh we've also got the shotgun the serif cqc12 with quick draw and trench the threaded needle with killing wind multi-kill clip and the gnawing hunger again this time they with fill prep rampage which isn't awful actually uh but we don't have great magazines unfortunately but might be good for pve if you don't have a good gnawing hunger for the armor then we've got season of the chosen prefectus is back we've got 59 58 61 and 60, so not particularly high, but as we know, that is mostly for transmog if you missed out on that season. And then for the rest of the juice, we've got the Hawk Moon with Moving Target, which is a interesting perk. We've got Heavy Grip, Alloy Mag, and Extended Barrel. And finally, we've got a good PvE DMT with Subsistence, uh, which is worth a shout. We've got Short Action Stock, Acrise Rounds, and Corkscrew. So there we go, a quick look at Zer. Good luck if you're jumping into, oh, I mean, what is it, Trials this weekend, I guess? <laughs> for the last couple of weeks of Destiny. Uh, yeah, stay awesome, stay safe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all again very soon.